property taxes in the nation. It's the primary reason why people are packing up and leaving the state in record numbers. We all know this. In fact, resolving this issue is why many of our constituents sent us here. Similar to what some of you probably experience, when I attend events out in my community, I frequently hear about runaway spending and what am I going to do to control it, about the toll the unfunded mandates are having, and the frustration of local taxpayers with their property tax bills. This legislation is important and I fully support the cap. However, I believe it is fundamentally flawed because yet again New York State is holding local governments to a standard that we're not adhering to ourselves. If we're serious about stopping skyrocketing taxes, then New York State should hold itself to the same standard that we're demanding of our schools and our local governments. 2% or the rate of inflation, whichever is less. We can't keep kicking this can down the road. We have to stop using tax and fee hikes and other gimmicks to fill holes in the state budget. As someone who came from local government, I understand the very real impacts unfunded mandates have. They drive up costs and they increase taxes. They are the reason why many communities cannot stay under the tax cap. I read a report recently that was put out by the New York State Association of Counties that shows on nine primary mandates, the counties collect about $5 billion annually, but they pay out more than $4.9 billion of that on unfunded state mandates. Somebody mentioned that this, the tax cap has held slow, helped slow down taxes. It has done just that, slowed it down. We still see, continue to see property taxes increasing. And until we stop that, we're going to see people leaving the state. I'm voting aye today because I believe we need to take whatever steps we can, even if they are too small, to reduce the taxes that local homeowners face. However, we must do better and we can do better. New York State will never achieve its full potential if we continue to spend too much, tax too much, and regulate too much. But by working together, we can get state spending under control, put an end to the unfunded mandates, and make New York State, particularly upstate New York, a place where working and middle class families can find opportunity and afford to live. Just real quickly, going back to unfunded mandates, with the voting reform, we saw again, in my opinion, another unfunding funded mandate that is being pushed down to the counties. The counties estimate a cost of $1 million or $62 million across the state to implement those reforms. Um, when asked about how that's going to be funded, we were told it, it was going to be through the savings occurred from combining the federal and the state primaries. That estimate came in at around $20 million, $25 million, so a big shortfall there. Also, the governor taking away the revenue that our local governments count on, the AIM funding, is a real hurt. So again, I'm voting in the affirmative, but I think there's a lot more that we need to do and should do. Thank you.